Good morning, eh, Te Waro. Damn, it's been a while since I've done a vlog or a video like this, but we are in Queenstown. I want to try and pop a vlog. It's been a minute. Um, I'm a bit on the fence of, like, to do it or not. Like, I get the courage and then when I pick up the camera, I'm like, uh, I don't feel like doing this or anything. But, yeah, we're in Queenstown at the moment. It's my birthday today. Um, we're going to go gondola riding. We're going to check out Berg Burger. Um, yeah, and go suss out the scenes down in Queenstown, Te Waro. Let me show you our little ride for the week, a little house. There's a little waka over there, a little wari for the day. It's basically like a self-contained camper van thing. Not the big ass ones, but it's like a van with a big uh, extra storage on the top there. We haven't been camping as such at the moment. So just to kind of catch up with what we've been up to, we've already been here for two days already. So we flew in from Auckland to Christchurch, despite the COVID-19 and stuff. But with the levels going down, we're allowed to um, fly. So, <clears throat> we've been here for two days, met up with the bro Pikiti, and then we ended up staying there for the night. Thank you to him and his wife for um, welcoming us, me and my partner, into their, into their house. Woke up the next morning, which was yesterday, then we travelled straight down to Lake Tikapu, then we went to Wanaka, and then we ended up coming straight down here to Christchurch, where, oh, to Queenstown, sorry. Yeah, yeah, to, to Queenstown. Today, I think right now, we're going to hit the gondola. I just feel like that's going to be the best place to go and check out some views and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna go and hit the gondola right now. Man, I still can't talk, but yeah, let's go. So this is our van, Etiwana, our house van, self-contained and everything, and we named it Tewene. It's literally a translational van, when. <laughs> Cause we haven't like been camping as of yet. I thought I'd just save the tour for the van um, when we start camping, which is like tomorrow. So yeah, at the campsite, we'll give you the tour of the van, or Tewene. So somewhere in this, oh, I think it's this big building over here, and there's the big hill over here. But we can't see. We're going up there. If you guys have ever been to the Rotorua skyline or um, gondola rides and um, the luges up there, it's basically the same thing, I think. But this, this gondola ride is way more steeper than Rotorua's for sure. So we were like having done it somewhere in this area here it'll be like the equivalent to like the waterfront in Auckland and stuff I think there's not as much people as I thought that would be here like um it's not as busy as I thought but there's heaps of people here um a lot of tourists obviously but everyone's just enjoying themselves having a couple of beers on the beach there and just vibing it's got street performance and everything and yeah no nah, I like the vibe here it's real relaxed you could probably tell why this place would be epic during the winter. These would be all snowed over, all these ranges, mountains and everything. So apparently that's the Remarkables, never heard of them before. That's Lake Wakatupu all the way around here, that's cool, heard about that. And um, But I never knew they had a gondola up here. Easy large. Me or the tight? No, it's tight under my oh, chin. No, that's good. Yeah. I thought it was going to take me. <laughs> We're both large heads. <laughs> so obviously what I'm thinking is that like, it's going to be like a beginner's course, a medium course, and then a expert course, advanced expert. Can't take the camera on it because it's going to be super hard. Um, so yeah, obviously you can't see the road, but I'll tell you about it later. Freaking epic. Look at this, just gets better. Do it, it do So we just on our last ride on the gondola. We got an extra one because the bro was knocking off, I think. Maybe it's like, oh, he's on the free one. We're like, yo, and she had to pull out the old, the old B word, eh? Oh, yeah, it's his birthday. I was like, oh no, like. <laughs> well, if he asks me how it's going, I'm, so, I'm spewing to be here. <laughs> it's a little cool little hangout area to one up. Dudes, bean bags. You bring some lunch up here. Fucking time of your life. Looks dope. Spewing the bees, spewing. <laughs> okay, we got a little stunt as to what we're gonna do. Sorry, but I got an idea. We got, what do you call this game? Cornhole. Okay, so we got a cornhole here. And give me three attempts. If I sink one in this hole here, we go slap 50 at the pokey, see? Let's go, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, last. 
That's a no. Well, that was a no, but I'm not complaining. More money in my pocket. Have you got our food for two nights? Yes, yeah. Well, kia ora te wano. Well, that, that was quick. We just finished our zip line. I thought we were going zip lining through like trees, so like, say it would take an hour to go from like tree to tree to tree to tree. So we basically just went down this zip line here. It's basically, you go straight down, you can go in different positions, Superman, upside down, just normal, backwards, or something like that. So I'm on, currently on this bridge here, these are the bungee jumpers and below there is the Kawaru River. But yeah, this happened so fast, I didn't expect like, this zip line to be the one that we did, but we've done it. Um, here's the movie here. <laughs> Alright, that was like 60 seconds of fun there to what no? We just ended up getting the video, obviously you would have seen the footage. Um, we're gonna head back to the motel. Uh, hotel, I don't I don't even know the difference. On the way though, we're gonna get a bite. I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling like some oysters. Okay, we just found another part of Queenstown. Seems like it's the rich area and the Wakatsupu. Uh, schools over here and uh, I forgot it was Monday today schools work and um, yeah we're at New World at the moment hopefully there's some oysters for some reason we can't find oysters so we're gonna go with the next best thing chipotle and lime mm. might have to hit bluff might have to <laughs> okay do you want we're in like the town of Queenstown we came to dinner last night, like on the wharf side, and we're gonna go check out this legendary food burger. It's just up the road here, everyone goes there. Package, this is food burger right here. Sorry I didn't um, film anything because um, I decided to get me a frappe on the way. Holy fuck, there's bees everywhere here. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, sorry I didn't film anything, but basically the story goes food burger isn't like only one place, it's a bit of a monopoly, if you will. So, on one side, You've got Fur Baker or Mrs. Fur, and that's got like ice creams, gelatos, bit of coffee. And then next to that is Ferg's Bakery. So bakery has got all the pastries, pies, and everything like that. And then you've got Ferg Burger in the middle, and then to the right of that, it's like the fourth building is like Ferg Bar. We can get beers and stuff like that. It's pretty chic. Wait, what does chic mean? I'm just talking shit out of my I'm just talking out of my ass now, I don't even know what chic means. But basically, um, so yeah, a bit of a monopoly and it's cool. Vibe, I haven't come across any like assholes or loud people here yet too. Could be the off season, I'm not too sure. But then we decide we'll come down to the water and eat our burgers. Uh, sweet Bambi. Yeah, so I got a sweet Bambi. Both these burgers are beautiful. Bit of a venison burger. And she got a little lamb, which is like a lamb burger. Ooh. So that's basically gonna end the vlog for today. We had a pretty cool day, basically. I had a good day anyway. I enjoyed it. Just gonna finish off with some kai, head back to the to the house or where we're staying at, and then yeah, just get ready for tomorrow. We're heading out to Dunedin. Dunedin. So hopefully there's more content, less of me talking and like looking at my face and more or doing stuff. I just get a little bit um anxiety i guess you could call it when i'm um, trying to vlog in the public i mean i'll get there though but yeah we're still going to try and get these vlogs out just something quick simple sharp and something to uh, document our, our journey our holiday and something something to look back on but that's going to be a to i know um i'll see you in the next vlog mode order wow my lamb is cool it's got like this chutney and everything up in here give that a look focus this nice lamb burger, it's got onions in it, it's got like this caramelized jam up in there. Oh, I give it do it, do it, do it, do it. It's a four out of five doitzes. Very nice, very nice. Reminds me of um burger fill. Um homemade, gourmet style burgers. You gotta order the chips on its own. It's like I never agree with like man, give me a combo please, please, especially when it's like 20 bucks. 15, 20 bucks a burger. <laughs> but anyway, very nice burgers, fur burgers are on, bruh. Killed it.